Hey, hi friends, welcome back to Baho Automation Lab once again. In this online video session, we'll try to learn how to scroll up an element in APM. This is very important concept while working with the real-time scenarios. Okay, so we'll cover that uh, entire concept practically in this session. Uh, so first of all, we'll learn how to scroll down, how to scroll up uh, till an element present in on that screen in Android device. Okay, so we'll take a help of two important classes in the APM like Android uh, UI Automator and UI Scrollable class. Okay, so UI Scrollable class is the powerful Android class that performs elements lookups in scrollable layout. It means uh, it will search that element to, ent uh, to entire element uh, entire uh, layout present on the your device. Okay, let's see this uh, example practically. Once we will do it manually and then we will automate it automate it practically using Eclipse. So the scenario here is in my uh, API demo app, which we are using for practice purposes. Let's say, let's open API demo app first. And uh, if I click on this views section, okay. And after that, you, you can see this uh, entire layout is appearing here, right? Okay. And uh, if I want to click on the, Let's say I need to scroll down this page, okay? And if I want to click on this, uh, let's say, uh, this text block, okay? This element not present when we are open the screen, okay? Whenever you are click on the view section, and then after that, uh, if I want to click on this uh, text block uh, element, then we need to scroll till down, right? So how to, do this stuff practically okay if i want to click on this text block okay and again when i click on this text block it will display as a time okay current time and if i go back and again i want to click on the one of the up section like uh, let's say this button section so again i need to scroll the page up and then i am able to click on this button section okay so these two things we need to achieve it practically using uh APM automation because uh, whenever you are working on the any uh, like real time any app okay this type of scenario will be always occur so we need need to know how to uh, scroll up or scroll down uh, till that particular element present on the screen okay so we'll take the help of these two classes and this syntax for a UI scrollable class so we'll do this steps practically first. So we'll get the better idea how to do this uh, scroll up and down still element using API. Okay, so I'm go to the my Eclipse. Okay, here we have in the method section we have already done uh, the stuff like how to start APM server practically and how to install that build. Uh, if that build is not installed uh, in the last previous session, guys. Okay, so we'll not waste some time to explain this step again because if you not watch that previous session i recommended you to wa watch that session first and then complete here so you, you will get the better idea uh, here like uh, we have in the before test we have automatically connected to the apm server and starting apm server programmatically and in the test section we are uh, like starting apm uh, server and uh, um, just open that api demo app in our uh, api demo app in our device which is we are using for practical purpose. So I'm creating new new package here, like uh, in this test, uh, test.java, I'll create a new package, like com dot apm dot, let's say, okay, this is one package. And I'll be creating new class in this scroll up and down. This is our class. Okay, we are not wasting our time, so I'll just copy this code from here to start EPM server programmatically and also launch that API demo app in our device. Okay, now let's commit up uh, implement this code. So we will launch API demo app capability itself because 
uh, we are not checking here the API demo app installed or not and all those things because we have already installed in our system, right? So in pom.xml, I'll show you uh, which jar or which dependencies we are using uh, for this. So we are using latest Java client dependency 8.3, which is very latest Selenium 4.6, which is also the latest and 4.6.0 Selenium remote driver. Okay, you need to add these three dependencies in pom.xml. If you want to change uh, the uh, Maven compile source 1.8, you can change it. Otherwise, no need to change anything in this pom.xml file. Now, let's say I need to copy this after test as well. We need to stop EPM server after program is exhibited. Okay, so we stop EPM server after program is exhibited. So here, uh, through this, uh, before test, you will start EPM server. Through this test uh, class on this capabilities, we can launch API demos app using this package name and activity in our device. So first of all, we need to click on this uh, view section, right? So let's write, write down the export for this. Find this element driver dot find element. Right? Let's say export. Packet will find this element using text. Okay. So let's. I am writing directly XPath here because I know what is the XPath for this element. Okay, guys. If you don't know how to find the XPath using, uh, you know, how to find the XPath, you can watch all the previous session related to the, related to the uh, APM XPath and all those things. Okay, you will get the better idea how to write the XPath and everything. Okay, so I'll write the XPath here with contains. contains that add that text and uh, the text here is we okay, which we want to click right so we'll just complete this bracket and write the text path dot let's say click so what what we have done here exactly so uh, we are finally launching the api demos app in device then after that We'll click on this contain text, which is contain text like uh, view. So the export for this particular element is uh, this one. Okay, through this content text, we'll click on that uh, view particular view element. Okay, so let's run this program and see whether we are able to click on that element or not. Okay, let's save this program first. Okay, it's starting APM server. Which is we have written here code to start APM server programmatically. Okay, all logs are generating here. It should be a stop our previous session, uh, like which is running currently here. Uh, API demo app is already open here. So it should be close that uh, previous session and launch new session. Okay. It's closing previous session and uh, launching new API demo app in device. After that, it should be click on view section. Okay, it's perfectly click on this view section. Okay, our test is passed successfully. And uh, we have now on this next page, right? After clicking on this view section, we need to uh, scroll, down, scroll down the page, okay, in this uh, particular app. And after that, we need to click on this text clocks section, okay, means the text clocks element, okay. So how to achieve this uh, stuff in uh, ABM? So let's try to do it practically. We will achieve this stuff using this uh, UI scrollable uh, Android class, okay. This is very powerful class. Uh, we'll perform this practically using this syntax, okay. So I'll just copy uh, this syntax into this uh, notepad file, okay? And I'll do this uh, syntax in your uh, description box as well. You can copy this syntax and write in the same way. Uh, but first of all, I will recommend to you guys, uh, like if you're using Java client latest version, then the APM by or directly UI automator, driver dot find element by UI automator, uh, method is not available. So how to achieve that in the latest EPM version? So let's see this practically. So first of all, uh, let's type driver dot find element. Okay, so here you can see you are we are not able to find directly driver dot find element by UI automator. 
right so first of all what we need to do we need to find that element and then create a new instance of that class okay and after that creating new instance we will uh, achieve this using apm by okay using apm by in the latest java client method and you can here you can see uh, we have two methods like like by, by android ui automator okay this is the apm by and uh, next one is by android ui automator okay we can pass here a string ui automator text okay so we need to take this okay method of class okay we, what lots of students making the mistake here they are taking this class and it will not work okay so uh, always use this method second method david.find ui automator and after that we need to pass this uh, particular syntax in this uh, syntax in this in this method okay so i'll just pass the syntax here okay so what we have done here like using this new scrollable uh, new scroll scroll selector scroll level selection two and this get instance will scroll until the page okay till this text is matches okay so we need to pass here element text which you want to perform so i i want to uh, click on this particular uh, element like a text clock okay so we need to pass that text here like a text Block. okay that's it okay and just give you a semicolon and uh, write a x path for to click on that we can directly perform action here dot click as well but uh, this is not at all recommended uh, i just uh, as per the my opinion guys write a separate x path to click on that particular element okay uh, it's not a good habit so i'll i'll just write type here like a drive dot find element by that text and i'll just pass that text here writing separate element to click on that particular text block element so first of all whenever it will click on this view section i will type here some weight so you will see the execution properly it dot slip let's say two seconds as this weight is not at all recommended you can try it as simple implicit or explicit weight to, to find the elements but uh, for the uh, practicing and execution purpose i am writing this uh, this weight here okay so just run this uh, program and let's see whether we are able to scroll until that um, element matches on that uh, on that API demo page and uh, whether we are able to click on this text clock which is uh, in the bottom of that page this element is bottom of the page we required to scroll that uh, scroll till that particular element and then we need to perform the click action so first of all it should be open api demo app new session and then after that it should be click on that view section and after that it should be scroll till that particular element and then it should be perform action click on that text clock perfect it's ui demo app new session is open it's clicked on view section perfect okay and here we go it should be scroll till that element yes perfect okay first scroll is done we will not find element second scroll yes we not find element third scroll and then we are find element that text clock and it click on that text clock section as well perfect your our script is uh, passed successfully after that what is our next uh, next goal so we need to come back from that page and after again uh, we are on the same se session here right in the text text clock but we need to scroll up now okay and uh, we want to click on this button element okay this is button text and this is button element so what we need to perform here so we perform here like a driver dot navigate dot back so we'll come back after clicking on that text box section and again uh, we need to perform this action okay so i'll just copy this code and uh, paste it here and uh, we need to click on this button so i'll just change this text here like a button buttons right it's a buttons right okay and uh, also i'll check this change this x path to buttons right so first of all what happened here uh, after click on back i'm again given some like, endorse it so we get better idea right uh, so 
first of all it will click on this view section then scroll till text block and uh, scroll down till text text block and click on this element and after that it will navigate back and uh, then again scroll up till this uh, buttons element and uh, then click on this button element right so we need to stop section here after clicking on this driver dot uh, quite so we'll stop this session here our text case get passed so driver dot quit so to understand the session let's provide the dot slip here before quit that particular session so let's run this uh, program again and see whether we are able to perform all this set steps practically or not ATM server started programmatically. Perfect. All logs are generated in console. Okay, API demo new session is started. Let's click on this view section. It should be click on this new session. After that, we have provided some thread here, so it will take us some time to wait. After that, it's clicked on view. Perfect. And it should be scrolled down till text block. This one, right? Perfect. The scroll done. Second scroll. The third scroll, and it find that element text block. Perfect. And let's click on text block. Okay, now it should be navigate back. Yes, it's navigate back and thread dot slip for two two seconds. After that, it's scrolling down, scrolling up, again scrolling up, and it should be find that element buttons. Perfect, and it's click on buttons. Perfect, and after that, thread dot slip for five seconds, and it will quit that driver. Okay, guys. So that's it about how to scroll till particular element. We have successfully scroll up and scroll down that particular element uh, using this UI uh, scrollable class. Okay, guys. If you have any doubt related to this session, you can comment out me. I'll give the all the answer related to this. To learn this more practical session, guys, don't forget to share uh, and subscribe to our automation lab and uh, share this channel to your friend as well, so they can also learn this this all the APM concepts practically. Okay, let's meet in next chapter. Till time, have a great day. Bye bye. Take care.